again. Oh, how can you give me an error? Don't give me an error. Okay. Looking for my live stream so I can uh, post the links. Nothing yet. Okay, there we go. Talking about Maya converting a bento head created in Maya. Yes, we're converting a bento head created in Maya over to Avastar. I had a client that um, had all this trouble, or uh, actually a viewer who had all this trouble converting their head over. They want to take advantage of all of Avastar's features. So they wanted to convert it over, but was having all kinds of issues. Let me lower that. Um, and now let's try and send out some links. And uh, what do we have here? Um, copy this. Sorry, everyone. A little off my game today. Just had a power outage, so hopefully we don't have another one. Um, put some hashtags in here. Streaming, live streaming. So this is going to be quite a bit easier than I'm sure anybody even um, considered. Um, the process is... Um, and I'm kind of fooling people because we're not uh, really converting anything. We're just kind of changing uh, the head around a little bit in Avastar. Okay, so I have my links there. Sorry, I am moving slow. I, the power just went out maybe 10 minutes ago as I was trying to go live. Okay. There, we have all our links out. We can log out of Second Life here. What is that? Um, ignore that. Okay, log out of Second Life. And we're going to use a different Blender theme. So I played around and made a couple of Blender scenes. If we go to... Uh, my website, real quickly here. If we go to my website, uh, we go to interface themes, blenders, interface themes. We I have a few um, blender themes to download. Today I'm using the pink one. So this is a pink blender theme. And we're going to convert over a head that was created in Maya and everything and export it out as a DAE. And we're going to import it into Blender here and convert it over to the Avastar rig. This should be um, pretty fun and actually way more simple than anybody even... Uh, would imagine. Okay, so we have our startup scene here. Um, again, I'm using this pink blender theme. And I'm selling some of this stuff just to kind of like 
help pay for some of my time doing some of these videos and you still get a product you get a theme or something and I'm gonna go over uh, blender themes to uh, one of these days so I, I want to import import here what am I doing importing this head here that was created in Maya so here we have this head I'm gonna hit five on the keyboard here this head that was created in Maya and they want to convert it over it does have a skeleton if you if we look in the panel here um, it does have a skeleton it has an armature here and then we see there is the head okay so that's on layer one so let's go to a new layer let's um, add an Avastar an extended rig and I want the mesh with it just so I can match up things and I'm not watching the feed hello everyone eight people watching right now okay here's our Avastar rig so let's show our new head and look at that right away we notice there's a distinct difference here but if we look closely it looks like it's just rotated 90 degrees the um, Maya head so what we're gonna do is um, we I don't want to rotate the heads mesh 90 degrees because it's still connected to the armature so I want to select the armature up here and if I hit N on the keyboard we can look at how we're set up here and the armature we can rotate the armature and I think I want um, minus 90 right there so I just rotated it minus 90 now I don't want to leave this like this so I want to immediately go apply rotation and scale so now my armature that the original Maya skeleton Maya head is on is parented to is now facing the correct way but right away here um, I'm not we don't need that skeleton anymore if this is a mesh head that was designed in Maya to use all of the as many of the sliders as possible then uh, the head looks like it's all lined up the way it kind of should be looks a little high but and I don't know if um, that's intentional or not that's hard for me to say but real simple real easy I'm not going to convert anything over this is a head that was that should have been made for the default avatar so just like this, I should be able to just switch rigs. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select the head. I'm going to go to its armature here. And I'm just going to switch it from armature to avatar. Avatar is our avatar rig. Okay, so I just switch the head over now you won't see it showing here yet because there's two spots where you want to change um, what the armature is now I've changed it here now I also have to change it here and now we're both on the Avastar avatar rig and there's the head now I've switched it from one rig to another rig now um, I don't show any other meshes so it looks like the process is pretty much done and um, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this rig so I just got rid of the Maya rig now I just have the Avastar rig and as we can see let's um, first thing I want to do just so we don't get confused here I'm going to turn off the default head and just like this we just have the Maya head 
and the jaw works because all the weighting is still there. It still recognizes all the bones and everything. So everything's still properly weighted just like you had it in Maya. Now, uh, just looking at this head, I don't know everything about this head, why this was created, how this was created, um, whether the bones are exactly right, if this is um, exactly how they had it. Um, everything that I see kind of shows that. But um, I did do a video a little while ago uh, talking about how to properly set up a human head onto the default avatar. And there are some issues that I see right away with this head and how everything lines up. So we're going to, real quickly, I'm going to finish this video off with what I would do to adjust this head to get it to work better with the default rig. So um, one of the first things I want to do, I want to make sure that I don't have sliders connected. So I have no sliders connected here. So now I can uh, safely edit the mesh without any problem. So I'm going to go immediately into edit mode. Again, if uh, people are just coming into the video, I'm using a, diff a Blender theme that I created. And uh, you can get uh, some of the Blender themes on my website. I have a Neo one, a pink one, and the one I always use. Just for a couple bucks. Back to the video here. So we're in edit mode. And let's go side view. I want to see all the way through the mesh. And sorry, my controls are different. Here we go. So I want to just select the whole mesh here. I don't want to select this neck layer. And I don't know if this neck layer is supposed to fit another body or if it's meant to fit the default body. Now, there, I've talked about this in other videos about how um, we might correct this neck. And if there are people out there that want to see more about matching these things up, uh, I will do a video, a specific video, just on that. But... Uh, some things that I notice is that the eyes are not lined up. Okay, so the eyes are not lined up. Here's the middle of this mesh's eye, but now here is the eye for the rig. And the eyes are important. They need to be matched up. And I notice that some of the, the mouth sits a bit high. The nose uh, looks okay where it is. So um, with this one, I'm tempted to pull the whole rig down little by little. Maybe I'll back off one of these layers and I'll pull it down a little bit more till I get it somewhat centered in the middle of the eye. So... right about there. And the eye is also not centered um, side to side. So I'd want to maybe scale it in all together till I got it almost perfectly centered, the eye perfectly centered where this eyeball bone is and you'd uh, probably want the actual eyeball on there too when you were doing all this and now after you can go back and match up some of these um, points to the neck that you want it to fit but now as we can see I'm, I'm better lined up with this lip I'm better lined up here the nose seems a bit low for all this um, but we might not have too many problems. The most impor important thing, though, 
is that the eye is lined up. So let's go out of edit mode. That the eye is lined up right there. So you'd actually, there's no eyeball in this mesh right here. But now from here, we can um, adjust the mesh with the avatar with sliders and get something really close to what it was originally. So that's kind of my advice. Um, try and get as close as you can. Like even this nose, I'd be tempted to go into edit mode and go into edit mode and piece by piece kind of move the um, vertices up so this nose gets centered on this nose a little bit more. And remember that we can, if we have everything at the default, the mouth can freely move up and down with the slider too. But real quick and easily, um, we converted our Maya Bento head over to Avastar without any issues at all. And now we can just export it out using our Collada exporter with Avastar. We can easily animate the head and do whatever we want. Oh, you probably have a bad internet connection. When this is all recorded at the end, uh, you can watch it again. It'll be probably a lot better quality. But um, before I end the video, I do want to talk about uh, my website again. I have a bunch of different products for um, people to use. I have our Blender themes, just a couple bucks each. And all of this stuff helps support um, the creation of these videos. I have um, tutorials. You can actually download many of these videos and have a hard copy and see it in high definition instead of needing to stream it. But I charge a dollar for those downloads. And of course it helps to get me to make more videos um, and not have to spend all of my time working on different projects. So that's uh, the video today. Uh, have a good one, everyone.